All right, fellas, and welcome to GP's very, very first HD recording. Although not the first to go up on YouTube, that honor will belong to Brave Fencer Musashi. But I wanted to come here, and I was so excited today. I just got the Elgato HD 60S over the weekend, and after some trials and tribulations, which I'll go into some detail while we're watching this, I got it to work, and I got it working with my PS3. And the very first game I decided to record and play with my new HD, Metal Slug. They said it best, Metal Slug. So I don't know why I decided it's got to be Metal Slug. Some you know, it's a game that's not in HD. It's not meant for HD, it's an older game. I have a bunch of other really nice looking games. However, this game is extremely artistic to me. I love the animations, I love the style and the sound, and I wanted to bring this to you, show it off to you guys. Especially because I actually did a recording of this uh, in the analog mode, a test recording a long time ago, and compared to that, it just looks stunning in HD. So, I'm bringing that to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> this game, I have uh, already recorded it on the advice of a buddy, and I'm doing some post commentary. So, this one, you'll see me uh, kind of concentrating. I'm really having a good time here, though. Uh, Metal Slug is a tremendous game. It's one of the best run and gun shooters ever made, no doubt. And I really love the original for some reason. There's a lot of Metal Slugs. I think there might be like 20 Metal Slug games, something like that. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I mean, back in the 90s and the 2000s, and the this thing ripped quarters off kids like you would not believe, and adults. But I've played this one quite a lot. Uh, you, you'll see, like, from the semi-expert play. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but in any case, love Metal Slug. So, get up that hill. The tanks. So I was extremely excited. The process, I talked about that I was going to bring up the Elgato HD 60S. So the process to record the PS3 in HD coming from the, you know, back of the HD output from the PS3 to the Elgato was a, it was a serious, like, headache. I can't even describe how difficult it was. And when I first got it, I had no idea that there's this thing called HDCP, which I'll save you the whole technical details, but it's it's an encryption that the manufacturers have put on HD outputs so that you cannot view your content in the original source format. Now, obviously you can still port that over to things and screen rip it, but they just didn't want you to be able to use exactly what I'm doing, a video capture device to capture the system. but. They're really doing this so you don't stream Netflix or Hulu or anything like that. Blah, 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 blah. I have no intention of doing that. I just want to record my game audio and have a good time doing that. So I'm going through and I get the uh, PS3. Now I have an Elgato analog player and I've been able to record my Brave Friends and Musashi series with the analog out that the PS3 has. Very nice little tweener system the PS3 was came out just in that time when HD TVs were not quite in everybody's house yet. There was still a lot of CRT TVs out there and the old standard was being used very often. But you know, they knew that the HD was going to be the way and so pretty much every PS3 model that I know of has an analog out and a HD out. So with my Elgato analog I was able to get the gameplay footage which was awesome. But I knew at some point I would want to record some games on the PS4, and there's a couple games on the PS3 I really want to record, like Fight Night Champion, Psychonauts, and, I mean, that's not a PS3 game, but uh, I've got a bunch. i got the original Uncharted series. There's a, there's a whole lot of them like that. I've got probably, like, maybe 60 PS3 games, maybe more. So, I wanted to get, and I wanted to provide the best video quality possible. So, I got the El Gato HD 60S. And I was so excited when it arrived, plug it in, try and get it to work, it won't work. And I won't even go over all the heartache and hassle that I have with trying to get it to record anything, period, even for the PS4. But suffice it to say, 
I had to go through a whole lot, especially since I'm recording with OBS. But either way, I was able to learn through a significant amount of research that you can record in HD from your PS3, but what you need to do is get a specific kind of HDMI splitter, a 1.3 or a 1.4 HDMI splitter. Most of the time, I mean, I had no idea about this stuff that just converts into HDMI. Like, why would I need to know that? For the most part, it's pretty in pretty much non applicable to most of our lives most of the time. But in this particular case, it mattered a whole lot. So I did a bunch of research. There's a ton of videos on YouTube. I'll try and put the links to those videos in the description. And those are the ones that's like, hey, you need to order this specific type of splitter if you want to record because what it does is I'm not sure that it strips the HVCP off so much as it removes, either does some kind of a handshake, either way it enables that the Elgato can record the uh, PS3 stream. Oh, the reason I mentioned the HDCP, I forgot to mention earlier, the Elgato cannot record something that has HDCP on it. Now the Microsoft Xbox One and 360 I don't think have HDCP enabled by default. The PS4 however does have HDCP enabled by default, so you, you have to disable that in order to use it to play. Of course, I didn't know that, and there's really not a lot of ways to know that because the Elgato comes with literally no instructions. It's, it's just a, you just open the box and there's a picture and an image. I might insert that here so you guys can see it, but it comes with no instructions, and that is frustrating. Very frustrating. Especially when you just want to figure, you know, it comes with so little instructions, it's just like, oh, plug and play, like it should work. Well, it don't work. <laughs> and that's a bit frustrating, but in either case, I got it to work with this using the videos that I saw, and I could not be more pleased with how it all turned out. I really good view. <laughs> I love watching this footage back. It's awesome that I get to record this just for posterity as well. So, I think be some time later down the road, I might be like, oh, that Metal Slug I used to play on the old PS3 when like the PS8 is out or something. And, be able to come back and look at these videos and that's pretty awesome and the best quality as well I had a workaround for the PS3 actually that I could use and I did use it briefly there's some footage that I recorded of Grey Prince and Musashi doing some test records and whatnot and among the many issues like audio echo I noticed that there was sort of a screen distortion jiggle effect going on. So let me explain how that came about and what I'm talking about with my backup and workaround. So the backup and the workaround is a it's the same one that Elgato recommended for their older Elgato HD, but well it's not the same one but it's similar. What it is is you can take your analog A B cables and you can buy an up converter from Amazon. They're actually really cheap. It's really not all that much money. And so what you do is you take your analog out from the PS3, that would be your yellow, red, white, put it into the box. The box has a power supply, put that power supply on, and then the box has an HD out. With that HD out, you're able to obviously get your, your, your video, your analog video in HD, which does change the resolution, but it really doesn't look that good. There's no two ways about it. It's not component. It's just composite. So it's 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 okay, but it's it's far from from this looking like this. Uh, there's a great French massage video I just uploaded and with using the HD, and it looks significantly better. Now the problem that I briefly mentioned before was that there's a problem with the visual when you are watching it. Not when you're recording it, when you're recording it and when it's outputting to the TV, it looks fine, it looks normal, but when you actually go back to watch your video, there's a little bit of screen tearing and there's like a little bit of like screen wobble as I believe the upscaler is like scanning up and down to encode the image into, you know, an analog image into digital. So you're going to have some of that conversion come through and for a game like Great Prince of Musashi, which has the whole uh, image in the bottom right corner with all the numbers and stuff, it was fairly obvious. I noticed that for, I tried it with a couple different games, it wasn't as obvious, um, but with that game, it made it pretty much, it would, it would be a distraction. 
characters, I would have to settle that, oh, you're just gonna have to deal with this wobble, and he's like, I didn't want that, and I already spent all this money on this HD, I'm gonna make this work somehow, so, the backup was to use that, and then I could still use the Elgato HD, which I was determined to use, and go that way, but, uh, I have decided to definitely maybe not use that device. <laughs> I have a PS2 that I'm playing on with the Federation vs. Xeon series, which will be resuming after the Great Force and Musashi series, or maybe about halfway through. And the PS2 can do the same thing. It's got the same analog out. It's actually got the exact same cable as the PS3. You can use a PS2 and a PS3 out cable, but the PS2 obviously does not have any HD capability. So I did record a big project with AMAC and we used most of it with the new um, Elgato HDX using the uh, up converter, but there is a problem that we found developed after a couple hours of recording, which normally wouldn't be a problem because I don't record that long, but in this case we were recording for a while. The audio lost sync. It doesn't like, I think it's the up converter interfacing with the Elgato. Something about it does not like the the audio sync after a while, so it starts to desync. So that's a little bit of a headache, but you know, through some editing we can work through that, but at the same time, I don't want to have to be editing it over and over again. So I don't think I'm gonna be using that up converter unless I can figure out a way to make it work consistently. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I figured this out, and <laughs> let me tell you, Saturday, after spending about eight hours trying to do this, I was at the edge of my room for sure, thinking, Maybe this isn't such a great idea. <laughs> but looking at this footage now, love it. I am loving it. Get it, get it, get it! Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's so easy to mess up and lose the uh, metal slug in this fight. No question. Just gotta, just gotta fire. It's actually one of the best attempts I've done on this guy. This whole playthrough, I was uh, pretty aggressive. I think I was just running on the adrenaline of getting the PS3 to work and getting that splitter and I'm just so happy it worked. I think one of the reasons I was so happy is the whole splitter deal, it was a little bit of a crapshoot because it doesn't work with every HDMI splitter because I already have an HDMI splitter. And I thought, oh, maybe when I saw the YouTube video Saturday, I was all right, maybe I can get it to work with this. Nope, nope, I need a specific kind of splitter. So anyway, I've gone over a whole lot about the recording and the setup and how we got here in HD. I'm definitely looking forward to bringing more projects to you guys. However, I do recognize that it was a hell of a process. I'm currently recording with OBS, which allows me to do commentary and all that stuff better. And I just like the interface. It's a lot easier to, you know, it's a lot easier and it's a lot better than the Elgato's onboard software. It's just, it just is. So, I was thinking I may create a tutorial video on how I did all my setup. There's already a lot of tutorial videos for sure. So I'm not sure I'm not uh, I'm not sure that I want to do it, but I know that I had to use several videos to come up with my complete solution. So I, I may I may include that video at some point. If you guys want that, let me know. You know, put something in the comments and I will put a video up detailing how I got the Elgato HD60S to work with uh, the PS4, the PS2, the PS3, how I got the audio from the Elgato to, oh, to, sorry, to record it with odds, how to eliminate the echo that comes when you do record it with OBS or odds, and also how to get the audio into your headphones so that if you're using mic and you're in mic commentary, it doesn't disrupt the mic commentary. It's quite a few steps and quite a lot of uh, troubleshooting you may or may not have to do, but uh, it was somewhat of an extensive process, there's no question, so I think it might be a value to some people to have one video that's kind of got all of it, but uh, at the same time, we'll see, it, it could be a little bit of a, <laughs> a trial to get it through, but if there's a man for it I'll, I'll, get it, I'll get it in, so, yes, this section is hard. I think it's the first time I lost the, uh, the metal slug, for sure. He's definitely these last missions. Get out of there! Get out of there! Nope! <laughs> I was like, oh, you can't duck or dodge! <laughs> that little, that little room, that's a death trap. 
Oh man. I love the shotgun. I love when he says shotgun when you get it. Thank you. <laughs> Skip that. <laughs> shotgun is, I think, the most powerful weapon in the game. No. <laughs> Watching this game, I really, you know, it just reminds me so much how video games are art. And doing this video editing and trying to make the quality the best I can make it, you know, even though it costs me a lot of time, a lot of hours, is is, is awesome. It's it's very fun, and I can only recommend it to anybody who's thinking about getting into streaming or recording. It's really not as hard or as bad as it seems. to take a little bit of time investment, but if you've got the passion for it, it can get done, absolutely. Absolutely 100%. Get him, get him! Yes. <laughs> I should mention that, well, I don't, I don't know why I mentioned, but this uh, run, I just kind of, I popped the uh, Metal Slug in. Well, I didn't pop it in. The point is, I started the application on the PS3, and... I just started playing. No practice, nothing. I usually make it to about this mission if I start the game up with no practice. Uh, this is like where it's really starting to get pretty tough. There's a lot of stuff coming from everywhere. Uh, but on this playthrough, shoot, you'll see, it worked out, worked out pretty decently. I think that's just the excitement from having the uh, ability to record for sure. But they got that perfect angle. Maybe we can blow up that car. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try that next time I play this. Get him out! Get him out! <laughs> I love the flame effect. That is... That's one of those things. It's kind of like the Street Fighter Hadouken. Like the fire Hadouken you get sometimes from the SNES Street Fighter. And just how the, the bodies would catch on fire that way. This is SNK. Uh, which I think worked with Capcom on this or something like that. Either way, <clears throat> you actually can see some of these guys throw Hadoukens in other games, but that kind of imagery is, even though it's old school, it just looks awesome. And it always sticks with me how striking it is. There is something to the 2D artwork, 2D, and I don't know if I'd call it a 16 bit, I'm not sure which kind of, you know. It doesn't quite look like Super Nintendo, but something to the the look, especially of especially of this game. That was like a pincer right there. Couldn't get through that, no matter what. I remember that while I was playing. But anyway, there's something to the look of this game specifically that it just it just looks awesome. There's something, and I mean we've seen it in other games as well for sure about how often. You know, people we have these 2D graphics games that we like. There's new ones like The Messenger and many others. And there's just no question that a lot of these are, they're just, they're awesome. They are supremely awesome. There's something to that presentation style that 3D can't capture. Not to say that 3D games don't look awesome, because I love the look of The Witcher and several other games, Last of Us, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, tons of games that look incredible in 3D, but there's just a certain stylistic look to 2D side-scrollers or 2D games that just can't be achieved or replicated in 3D. No reason, no, no explanation on why that's the case, that's just how it is. This guy, this guy is such a hard fucking fight if you don't have the Metal Slug with you. I actually did pretty good in this fight. I don't normally do this good, to be honest, on this guy. Occasionally I do well, like after I play the game like three or four times. <laughs> but it's a tough one. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. The flame at the bottom. If you're the guy, you run down there to try and like get away from the shots, it's ridiculous. You good luck. <laughs> With just the uh, regular person. Mission. This game's got so much style. Get him. Nice. <laughs> I say nice as if... As if I'm playing it actively, but... 
and stab like six guys in a row. <laughs> I love that they included bits like this too. Uh, like they knew how awesome their game looked, and I love that they included parts where the they should give you a chance to use the weapons and show them off like earlier where they had that flame bit where you got the flame gun and these guys are dropping down slowly like they're in the perfect position so you can you know set them on fire and show off all the animations that they did look at this look at this bullet hell nonsense you gotta go through here it's ridiculous <laughs> this final stage what a quarter muncher this must have been back in the day Jesus Look at all that! I mean, I don't think the game gets any harder uh, if you have two players. Uh, it's the same amount of enemies and everything like that. And I think to get the true ending you need to have two players. Which I think it shows a picture at the end when you beat it of a soldier throwing an airplane. And if you beat it with just one player... Rinse those continues. If you beat it with just one player, then you only get the intro from the... Oh, sorry. The plane lands in the sand and it says game over, but if you beat it with two players, then I think the... I think the guy that you're fighting is like the Fury, or she's some evil guy that's German because that's how all the evil people are in uh, <laughs> these older games. In any case, including Brave Friends and Masashi, ironically, but in any case, um, the, the game... This guy here. This is the guy I'm talking about. Sorry, I was pausing, trying to trying to recall uh, what he was. He he catches the thing and it's like to be continued. Oh yeah, this is fucking awesome. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's exactly what I did when I played it live. Just fucking Rambo. <laughs> this is an awesome part in the game. I actually did, this is probably the best I've done on this gun because you are you can't move, right, in a game where one hit kills you. I, think I just got totally lucky in a lot of this. I just happened to jump at just the right times. Now, I think when you're doing that, you've got like iframes. When you jump on and off the gun, I don't think you can be hurt. Like, see, th that helicopter's there to, f to completely... F oh, what a dodge. What a dodge. You gotta give me credit for that one. That helicopter comes in there to completely fuck you over. He comes right to that gun and just starts dropping bombs to make you get off of it. And you're like, oh, come on. Give me a break. This thing right here. This is ridiculous. There's a metal slug off to the right, but I couldn't see it. There's so much fire. I got focused on the big danger barrel. I could have jumped right on there and got it. But nope. I think I see it as soon as I blow this thing up. Yep, I see the metal slug fall. It's like, fuck! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I could have got it and just left it on the, um... I like how he Mario's the missiles, but I could have got it and just left it on the boat. That would have been just fine. God damn it. It's all good. So, <laughs> it's, it's over now. But, uh... Mario's missiles. Mario! <laughs> see, now I'm jumping on top, hoping there's some extra goodies here for me. I don't think the game expects you to be up here though, because it makes this part a lot easier. I mean, as long as you avoid that, you know, which I was extremely lucky to do. <laughs> but yeah, if you're up there, it makes it easier, way easier to take out those guys. Ah! Look at this. Watch this. Oh, look at that big platform fall on the ground behind you. Look at that. That is badass. This game looks fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't know how many times I said that. I'll probably just keep saying it over and over again. <laughs> come on. Come on. So close to the end. So close to the end. I think I was hoping this guy had something great for me, like, I don't know, an extra hit, which he doesn't, or an extra life, which he doesn't. This fucking helicopter, are you kidding me? But like, come on. They don't give you any room to dodge. No, not the corner. Oh. <laughs> well, we did our best. <laughs> anyway, 
I really enjoyed making that video. I, I loved recording in HD, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again on the next one. There will be many, many more playthroughs to come in H mother cuckin' D. <laughs> so, excited to bring that to you. So, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.